Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be going over some advanced techniques for using the Vanish tool. We have this mailbox here that I like to remove, and I want to show you how to use the mask and the mask die. Sometimes when we vanish, we don't want to drag everything inward toward the center of the vanish like that because you end up with some of the mailbox getting chewed up as you go. You can do it that way, but I'll show you a little bit easier way to use the tool. Let's get rid of these and refresh it. Now, I'm going to select mask and I'll use the mask die. This is also doubles as a red eye tool, so that's why it's called mask RE. With the die on, I can see where I'm putting the masks. And what I want to do is mask out the mailbox like this and the mask tends to follow colors so if you have some leftovers in here just give it a second dose another one on top and it'll fill in the whole thing now that I have that radius established I can just click and click again and do it that way up here I'll use a different size and just again to make sure I got everything I'm gonna go over a couple times on this because it's it's trying to follow the colors and I'll show you that down here there could be some cases where you don't want to go over the edge too much uh, in this case I want to go over the edge because it's just random stuff around here uh, but if you're working on something in a tighter spot you might not want it to go over the edge and if I click and drag you can see that it's stopping on the right edge of the mailbox post there and that's just to help you mask out areas and I should really say mask in areas because this mask and I'm again I'm intentionally going over a little bit here because I want to get it all uh, but I should say mask in areas because the areas that you're masking are the areas that will be affected by the vanish when you finally use the vanish tool after masking off the area so what I'm doing is I'm just establishing an area here for the vanish to work in and it will only bring in information into the area that I've masked off. Now that I've masked the mailbox, what I want to do is drag in some of this information from around it. So I'll start inside here after I switch to vanish. I'll start inside the masks that I made and drag and as I drag it drags in information from outside into the inside of my masks and what I'm doing here is I'm trying different radii of this circle to see what looks like it matches what's around it I think that looks pretty good so I'll stop there on that one over here I continue and each time I do it it's just dragging in more information if you drag too far it's not going to look right. If you don't drag far enough, you might not get all of the mask. So I'm just going to drag to where it looks reasonable based on just eyeballing what's around it. Does it match? Yes, it does. Here, I'll take off that little chunk. Over here, we have some dark areas. So I'm going to put my mouse cursor inside the mask, knowing that these dark areas around it will be dragged in. So what happens is I'll click now and drag and once my mask gets, once my vanish gets to the edge of the mask, it breaks through the mask and then it starts bringing in data from around it. And I'd say that looks pretty good there. So that's what you're doing with the masking. And here it becomes pretty easy because this stuff around here is, like I said, it's pretty random so you don't have to be that careful. Over here I can probably take off a pretty big chunk, not too big, then, then you're dragging in. The, the further you drag your mouse, you're dragging in things from further away. So you just drag the mouse until you get something that looks like it belongs in the picture and you're stopping. You can get different effects by based on where you stop. And these chunks, I, I can take off pretty big chunks here and still have it look reasonable. Got a little piece there I'll get rid of. And down here, 
this this stuff around the mask is pretty random so you're not really going to notice a whole lot I'm just trying different things and if you try something and you don't like it you can always delete the row and refresh and do do your last one over again but just with those few simple moves there I basically created a background here and dragged things in from outside that background and now just like when you're using a cloning tool you should probably go into 2x and look at the 200% view and see if there's anything that looks like it doesn't belong or needs to be cleaned up. You would have to do this with a cloning tool as well because with a cloning tool you have repeating patterns and things like that that you've got to clean up. So it's really not a whole lot different because you know at the end you're just smoothing out some edges that look like they don't belong and you just with the regular um, vanish tool now you don't need any extra masks and if you drag one time and it's not doing anything that means there's still a little bit of mask there you just drag again in that area and it'll it'll smooth it over for you so I'm just getting rid of a few of these little edges here some things that look like they they might not belong uh, up here there might be a little edge you know you can be as picky as you like but it already looks pretty good um, I'll right click right here because I see some information here that I'd like to smooth out. You can see part of the post here where the mask didn't go quite to the edge. So I'll just smooth that out a little bit by clicking and dragging with the regular mask and just go over it. And you can basically get any effect that you like by just using the vanish tool and using it in different spots, trying different areas. Like I said, if you don't like, if I did something, let's say I was down here and I'm trying to get rid of this little line and blend it in a little bit, and uh, I've gone too far. Go over here, delete row, refresh, and you can do that one over. So that's how it works. And now I'll click OK and we'll watch my mouse cursor. We'll watch the mailbox over here when I click OK it applies all that the mailbox is gone and there's very little evidence that it was ever there one last thing I wanted to show you is this image here that I call the water witch because it looks like she's all black and it looks like she's riding a broom broom handle in here uh, but we've got this little post back here I'd really like to get rid of that and we can vanish it just by clicking and dragging and it will drag the areas around it inward and we can get rid of it with just a, a few touches like that. But let's say that uh, if I'm really scrutinizing this I can see some circular patterns in here. Maybe I don't want that to show. So I'll go back, get rid of those. and I can put a mask over this and I'll show you the um, the feature that a mask will will let you do here normally with the vanish you're drawing everything from outside the vanish circle inward but you can also create a mask like this switch to vanish and then by starting outside of the masks I can actually draw the water across once it goes over and breaks through that mask on the other side you'll see that it starts to draw water inward toward the center of the mask and now at this point it's just picking the right radius that makes the water look reasonable in that area so I can go back and forth I could use more than one vanish and you can see that that looks more realistic because the horizontal strokes of the water continue through better and they don't look as circular and then I can just go back and clean up some edges here if I like and that looks a, a whole lot better um, click OK and watch that little post disappear 
So hopefully this video shows you some advanced techniques on how to use the masks with the vanish tool to allow you to get rid of larger areas in your images. Thanks for watching.